Hello, everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to talk about the Spanish market today. So we can't differentiate between the residential market and the commercial market. In the residential market, prices are increasing a lot since 2014, that the prices drop 40%, and now they're increasing around 7% annually. And there is like a lot of investors who are willing to, to invest in Spain because we have like very good macroeconomics indicators as like the Spanish economy is growing around 2.7%. The unemployment decreased around 20% in Q2 2016. No, Right now, it's quite easy to, to buy a house because the mortgages are quite cheap. The, the interest rates are quite low, are around zero. So it's like from a long time ago, it's the first time that are quite cheap to, to buy a house. And like there is a lot of demand for houses that are in good quality. So the, the residential market is, is growing a lot. If we move to the commercial market, we can divide it into offices, logistics, hotels. Okay, I'm going to stop you. Okay. When you saw Ellen, what did you see her do? Yeah, he's like changing the mood. Yes. The pace, taking pauses, serious, joke, smile. Okay. Hmm. How are you doing it? I'm doing like very... Very what? Flat. That is the right word. Okay. I'm not saying it's bad. Hmm. No. And what you're doing? Do you remember when I said I want side heading? Commercial sector. Hmm. No. Imagine it's in bold. You need to imagine the bold. No. Block capitals. Imagine hmm. your PowerPoint. <laughs> Headline. Okay. Then underneath the paragraph of detail. Mm hmm. And I need to hear the difference. Because what you're doing is you're just going from one section to the other section with no pause. Yeah. And that means I can't get everything, but I want to at least get the headings. No, then you can't just give me the heading. You have to explain a bit. But pause, and then go be no more dynamic on the goes. Okay? We will do some acting with you because I think you will be good at it, and at the moment you're not. Okay. Okay? Uh, the thing is that as now I have to think what I'm going to say. That's why I'm like focused trying to... You need to be able to handle a lot of things. Yeah. No, it's like a one-man band, hmm. un hombre orchestra, no? or a lady band. No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> one lady band, okay? Yeah. But you need to be able to think. Pause, then go. Okay. And it's flat. It's quite flat. It's quite flat. And you didn't start out with a punch. You started out weak. Yeah. There's an expression in England, in English, to come out swinging, no, like the boxer. He comes out the corner, you both have a corner, and he comes out swinging. Hmm. There's another boxing thing that you see the other guy coming out swinging, you hold back, and you wait for him to tire, or her to tire. Yeah. Then you can hit him. So you want to mix, you know, you want to not just da-da-da-da-da-da, but not just blah-blah-blah, blah, blah, <laughs> like yeah. Ellen, no? Okay. We're going to listen back and you can you can see if you think I'm right, no? I know you're right because I know that I did it flat. Okay, so you've got through two interviews, but so you maybe have got through all the flat people, but maybe on the next interview there's only the Ellen people. Hmm. No, I think, for example, the last one with the last guy, it was like quite active, so because the guy was active, so he started asking me questions and I was really active, like... That's true, but playing him. imagine I'm really boring and dull, or I'm just not saying anything, you still have to be able to turn this on. Yeah. No? You can get the shy Chinese people to be interested, no? Hmm. Okay, so, the next paragraph you were going to talk about was what? Which sector? Uh, offices. Offices, okay, so, a little bit, I think, let's get some adjectives. What adjectives can you think that you want to do, to, to do here? What adjectives could describe the way that you want to present to me? Give me some adjectives. Overheating. I mean, for your... You say you want... You said before you want to add value, okay? Mm -hmm. 
okay? Yeah. I want to add value for you. So not just pay an English teacher, but what are you going to do for you? Not just talk about the property market, but you. Some adjectives. Maybe you could think dynamic. Energic. Energetic. Energetic. Yeah. Confident. Confident. At the same time, serious, yet friendly. No, yeah. not just too serious and nobody wants to deal with you because maybe too they want... friendly that you're like joking all the time. Yeah, that they think that you're not serious because they are Chinese people who want to buy a football club hmm. for the property market, not for the club because they, they, don't, they don't care about the football. They just want that real estate. Hmm. No, it doesn't matter if it's with Valencia or Atletico de Madrid. They want the fucking real estate. Okay. So talk about offices, okay? Off you go. Okay, so the office market today is growing a lot. There is a huge amount of money of uh, foreign investors, even Spanish investors, that want to invest. So there is a lot of money around us, and that makes some rents and yields growing very, very fast. So the market is a little bit overheating. For example, the prime yield in CBD is around 4.25%, close to the 10 years government yield that is around 2%. So there is only a difference, a gap of 200 basic points. So that makes us to think that the market is a little bit overheating. And for example, in the secondary market, the, the, the deals should be around 7%, 6%, and there's like some, there are some deals that are closing around 5%. I'm still talking about the market. <laughs> For example, one of the things is like there is no vacancy space in the CBD, and the vacant space is not of good quality, so and it's quite difficult to find good buildings in the CBD where companies going to go, want to go. I can understand your analysis of this. Yeah, but it's not good. But imagine that I want to give you money and I don't just want analysis. Hmm. I want you to tell me what to do. Are you allowed to tell me what to do and are you allowed to give me any recommendations? Are you allowed to do that? In Spanish, I can do whatever you want. In English, it's like a little bit more. Okay, so if you're allowed to give possible recommendations, because I know that some people who pay analysts don't just want a lot of analysis. Yeah, they want... They want the answer. Yeah. And some analysts don't want to give them the answer because maybe they get sued if they tell them the wrong answer. I understand this is not just in the property market, but... In yeah, any any any, any an analyst who's paid to analyze the situation, but my question to you would be: Are you able to draw any conclusions? For example, for a Chinese investor such as the owner of Wanda, what would you say to somebody in that position? Like in general, or just like office? Or Imagine you have a a, a Chinese client who has several billion dollars cash okay. and he wants recommendations if you can give any what would you say to that Chinese client would say he's got three billion dollars cash and he's looking at possibly coming into Spain but he doesn't know which doesn't know whether he's coming into Spain and if he does he doesn't know what he wants to do or where have you got any recommendations would you say that he doesn't come in because they're overheating or you tell me okay so today it's quite difficult to to have good rentabilities no you say you have good yields because for example the government bonds around two percent is very difficult to have high IRRs about ten percent so if, as the Spanish market is growing a lot I think it's a very good opportunity to invest in it because if you, for example, invest in residential, prices are increasing quite fast it, and we are not still in the peak of the bubble, 
So I think it's a very good opportunity to invest on, on residential buildings. I think the best way is to to buy buildings that are not good right now, so you can add value doing a refurbishment, make them like more valuable, and then sell them because there's a lot of people trying to to invest on to buy re, uh, residential units. Even loads of people from from like uh, Latin Chinese people and Spanish ones.